Welcome back to more Star Fox Adventures. All right, we're continuing on from the previous episode directly, so we're gonna go to the store first, and then we're gonna go to the seaside. Yeah, sorry about that noise. It's it's the it's the uh, it's the video capture device that I use. It does have it, it has that weird thing, like you can hear it in like the Quack Shot Let's Play, and a bunch of others. Um, yeah, okay. Well, that's the golden one. I don't think... We, so we got that, uh, the new wallet that gives us a hundred scarabs, but we can't buy that yet. We need something that even carries even more. Uh, there was a couple of maps that I haven't picked up yet, so that's why we're running here. And, uh... Yeah, okay. And, uh... I was talking about some video stuff recently, so, you know, uh, there was a little stream a while... Not, not just not too long ago. So, uh, we, you know, we, we did a couple of cartoons uh, together with Aqualung. Uh, well, I, yeah, we did one cartoon with Aqualung, and then I did the Dink cartoon, and I actually streamed uh, a big, uh, let, you know, making of, of uh, that cartoon, of bo both of those cartoons. It was really fun. It was fun doing a cartoon. Uh, you know, <laughs> after the, those. I don't know when I'm going to make a new, another one. I mean, uh... We might, I mean, we might do another one with Aqualung uh, again, obviously, but it, it, it really, like, I have no, I, I really have no solid plans. People might wonder why, why I stopped making cartoons, uh, and the thing is, like, you know, this is a non-profit channel, uh, and my main channel is also a non-profit channel, you know, uh, you know, so I, I make videos for my own entertainment, I don't make them for any other reason, so... I used to make cartoons with this because I had this kind of a uh, at one point. Okay, I think that was all the maps. All right, so we can head off to the beach. Yeah. So I used to make cartoons with this kind of vague hope that sometime in the future, you know, that I could maybe become a voice voice actor because you know I like doing voices, and so the animating was actually always very just secondary to that. So which I think you can tell. Like I'm an I'm not a real artist, so I'm, I'm just I, I'm just an idiot who makes likes making stupid cartoons. But you know, we, we I did it inevitably. I did enough of those that it became a thing, and Ken really likes those, and he likes collaborating with me doing doing those cartoons. Uh, so it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but what it's what back when there was less pressure to do anything and you know as time went on I wanted to do, keep doing getting better at doing those cartoons until you know until I reached the point where I am now with my skill set I don't think I've improved really in the last couple of years I just you know have slightly better tools now than I used to uh, but I never like learned flash or anything uh, so uh, <clears throat> what I was even talking about yeah yeah so Back in the day when I started YouTube, back in 2006, and going all the way until 2008, 9, 10 ish, I still had, you know, I always had ideas. I always had a natural follow up planned in mind for each of the cartoons. So, you know, it was never, it was never a question of if I could make a cartoon out of this. It's just like when, 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 when I had the time and energy to do it. Because the other thing is like what people don't necessarily appreciate is that. I make the cartoons with a very specific mindset and uh, thing uh, is that if it, if it drags out too much, like sometimes, yeah, I understand, like, for instance, if I'm doing cartoon with somebody, I gotta wait for them, you know, to deliver their voice files and things like that, you know. You know, there's natural things that'll slow down the process of making a cartoon. He seeks the scarabs to end the Cape Claw. 60 scarabs. Do I have 60 scarabs? You don't have enough. Go away. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta go... We gotta go... Get money! I, uh, now I regret buying those maps! <laughs> okay. They managed to find a way to, you know, increase our time here. Uh, that's 45. Ooh, okay. Not too much. Not too shabby. We only need five more. That's an egg. <laughs> uh, so... Wait, what, what, do we, what do I get if I shoot at these trees? Yeah, so at some point, but you know, after I'd done, you know, after I'd done those cartoons for a couple of years, you know, you know, you start to run out of ideas, and you know, sometimes I get like random inspiration. Like, you will know that I've done cartoons since those days. 
uh, a couple of, you know, something like the Panda Girl cartoon and Alliance Lost was another big one. That was the last time I tried to do like a big serious cartoon. It was not the only one, but that was the only one that ever got, uh, that, that was ever in any way successful because I got a bunch of people to help me out with that and, uh, you know, it was great. But, I, but it wasn't the first. I actually had another one from years and years ago. It was a superhero cartoon. I don't think I have anything from that left on any disc. Or maybe I do, but it's just, it's just buried somewhere. Because um, I, I thought, it, you know, the natural progression from doing those funny cartoons would be then do a kind of a serious cartoon. And I did that with uh, Alliance Lost. And I like that cartoon. I, it's, it's probably one of the best I've ever done. But inevitably, like, it ran aground because the plans for it were too big and I couldn't keep all the people uh, involved with that on the loop. So, we never did a second episode of that. But I'm happy with the episode we did do. So I'm happy for the fact that I did it, especially because it was such a long time in the coming. Like, it was several years I planned, you know, that specific concept of a cartoon. And then just to, to be able to execute and get it done. Like, in the end, like, sometimes that's that's more important than, you know, okay, so I, nothing else came of it. Who cares? I, I got to make the cartoon, I like, I, and I like it. Uh, but, yeah, so... And so, so... Battling off of that. Like, the fact that you get something tangible at the end of the day, like, the fact that it's not just, like, some concept art that's just sitting, uh, sitting in... A, a folder collecting dust and you never ever do anything. Just the fact that you actually got it done. That's why, just recently, uh, me, and Ke me and, you know, uh, Kaiser did another horror story podcast which had the Inspiro, um, uh, where, where, where I finally did my third, like, of the Inspiro horror stories. And what I'm doing right now, and I'm hoping, <laughs> because I've had a little bit of rotten luck with this one as well, but I got to a book printing place where I decided that I wanted to print, I actually want a physical copy of my own stories and uh, well it turns out the printing place you know demanded that you have to get a minimum of 10 copies which is a little more than I needed so uh, but 10 isn't too bad so I'm just gonna find you know I'm just gonna hand those over to ha hand those off to my like friends and uh, family members and whatever you know whoever wants them basically <laughs> because you know I'm not gonna like you know not that anybody would want to pay for those, but, you know, it's, I'm not going to sell them or anything. Yeah. It's just something I wanted to do for, you know, funds, funsies. It's like, also, like, you know, I have, you know, I've had a webcomic going on since 2018. It's just fun. It's just fun to have that. It's just fun to have that and have it be, you know, you know, just something tangible again. So you can, so that people can go see it and uh, read it and... Yeah, and that always get, kind of makes me sad that my, like, Dalt Wisney Heist comic isn't up anymore. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> that voice reminds me of something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they definitely pulled that out the last minute, like, on a Saturday or something, like... <laughs> oh, no, these things, yeah. All right, this is a little maze area here. It's not a difficult maze, but... Yeah. I love this though, this reminds me of the Labyrinth, which is my uh, all-time favorite. Ooh, which actually reminds me of something. Uh, well, obviously, you know, Jennifer Connelly, star of Labyrinth. But Labyrinth is one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, and, um, uh, and it was actually, it's, it's well, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not one of my dad's favorite movies, but the reason we know about it was because my dad taped it off the TV, and our dad loves it because our dad loves music. Uh, so, um, uh, <coughs> he was never the biggest, like, David Bowie fan, but he clearly really liked, liked the songs in in that film, and <coughs> it's always been one of my favorites. And I love Jennifer Connelly in that. Uh, Jennifer Connelly's also in one of my favorite superhero movies, which is the Ang Lee Hulk movie. She's Betty in that. And she's, of course, inspiration for Jennifer in the um, Clock Tower. And I've been thinking I should really, like, hunt down. Clock Tower is inspired by this Italian horror movie called Phenomena, which I think also has the guy from Halloween. What's his name? Uh, uh, he's the, oh, God, he's the guy who also played Bo Blofeld. It'll come to me, but... Oh, God! Oh! What? 
but didn't get on the ladder. That's weird. He just walked past it, or maybe I wa maybe I maybe I wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, so I've been thinking about getting that film because. Uh, yeah, because it uh, partially inspired Clock Tower. It's not exactly one to one. It has like its own thing about like insects and things. But man, the theme song to that is fucking awesome. I love it. And uh, Labyrinth's also been on my mind because there's this topic. I don't. I don't know how much I want to talk about this because I've got a feeling like uh, you know we we talked with Kaiser recently that we wanted to do another podcast or something. Okay, that worked. Okay, I didn't think that Zelda trick would work, but it does. Um, about a little thing which is um, on the topic of movies uh, because some while ago Ken did for Wildcard Wednesday on his uh, Aqualung uh, on a Wildcard Wednesday he did uh, he talked about he was asked he did a Q&A and in the Q&A somebody asked like what is his favorite movie okay and I did not pay attention to the map so I don't know if I'm going the right way I hope I hope I'm going the right way and Ken says, Zed, without hesitation, uh, he said, The Godfather. And that, and that fucking thing, that, that makes me so jealous that he can just say that with full confidence. Like, yes, Godfather, absolutely, it's my favorite movie. And, you know, because I can't do that. I'm, uh, the, I, 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 because I've... The problem is, like, I've watched so many movies, and I appreciate them all for so many different reasons. And I'm unfortunately, like, I, I've caused a problem for myself where I just can't honestly say what is my favorite movie of all time. Now, I want to say Labyrinth is, is in the running, definitely. That would be a good choice, because I genuinely, I just completely, unconditionally, genuinely love that movie. But it's very difficult for me to say, because something like The Terminator... The original one is also one of my all-time favorites. Um, but I like it for very different reasons. Oh, it's the big guy. Okay, and I think that there's a pterodactyl lady here we have to rescue. So I think, so yeah, I think after this, the, so the next uh, part of Dinosaur Planet that we're going to be seeing is the pterodactyl, like the aerial fortress place. Okay, that was ominous. I don't remember what that alluded to. Man, that leaf is... Wow, that leaf is in a really annoying posi position right now. Oh my god, I thought Fox was gonna jump. Now I gotta swim back. This is lovely, by the way, yeah. So I have to get over there, I think, at least, yeah. But yeah, so 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 I'm so I've always been in that off that awkward position where I honestly cannot say definitively what what is my all-time favorite movie and I wish I could I wish I could just go there, there would be just some movie that I could automatically say yeah that's that one's my favorite but yeah I can't and I, I can you know that's the thing like I can tell you what my favorite Jackie Chan movie is I can tell you what my favorite Disney movie is I can tell you what my favorite so-and-so whatever so I can categorize all the different movies based on various things but like an all-time favorite like, I can't say that. Okay, I have to get up there first, and then I'll get the ladder down. Um, yeah, okay, Fox did jump there. So I think this uh, leads me, will lead me to the... This, okay, now we come to the part of the game where I have to start start wondering how do I do shit. Oh yeah, there's the uh, crazy um, shiny gold bar. The high top <clears throat> has a fondness for all things gold. So maybe you can give it to him, and he will help you. Yeah, there's the there's the dinosaur guy out on the in the water. Okay, I guess we're doing this then. Ooh, we definitely need something for that. Yeah, yar, we're searching for buried treasure. <laughs> it seems. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me! <laughs> I don't remember if there's anything specific we still need to buy from the store. There probably is. I should probably I, I should so. I should not be neglecting uh, the fuel cells, even though I, I, even though we keep finding them constantly. There's another one. <laughs> Just as I am saying that. Ah, Bavamdad, Bavamdad. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess I gotta jump on that from high on top. Yeah, the fox can't climb out of the water. What the hell's wrong with you? All right, these guys are a little less annoying than the other pop up guys. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Yep, we got it. We found one gold bar. Oh, another. Ah, uh, gotta do more scarab grinding. Okay. Okay, whatever you say, big guy. Okay, I guess I gotta feed Tricky then. Oh, here. Okay, we found another. Did I take it? Okay, I took it. Yeah. Alright, so... Well, at least we're gonna use our time productively. I can I can look for those. I can look for more scarabs and I can look for the missing gold. I remember there was something about gold that I was about to say. Oh yeah, that, okay, this is a really weird, obscure thing, but like, you know, uh, I still need to, I, I think there's still one more gold brick for me to find somewhere. It has to be hidden, buried. It might be here. Let's go check it. Yeah, in the uh, He-Man episode, Evil Seed, uh, because Evil Seed's a threat, you know, is a threat to both the, uh, ouch, is a threat to both, you know, the heroes and the villains. There was a, you know, uh, because, but, you know, because Skeletor doesn't really have anything of value. Oh, I think this might be it. Uh, he threatens to steal all of Skeletor's gold. <laughs> Which is like, you know, what fucking gold? I, I've never seen Skeletor with gold. Yes, you can burn this down. Ouch! F fucking okay, that was my mistake. I wonder what this thing thing is like. Wow! I mean, is it? Oh, oh, it's something's buried down there. It might be just another staff cave. Uh, okay. What, what, what was that? I, I have no idea what he... I don't... I, 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 it definitely, like, picked up something. It played a, like a jingle, but I have no idea what that was. Okay, but we got we found all the gold, so we can go talk to that old dinosaur. Goddamn dinosaurs. You pass, but don't tell boss. Oh, <laughs> there's another guy just behind you. Just, don't mind me. Okay, what? Are you gonna move? Goddamn blue ass. Alright, hey, we can talk to this guy. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Ah. Hey, 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 fella. Ah. No. Yeah, now he noticed us. Alright, got rid of him. Okay, now I gotta be very, very careful not to fall in. Wait, can I talk to him from over here? Um, uh, hmm. which one is my inventory? This. Oh, I got four gold bricks. Oh, was that? Okay, was that the last one then? Okay, because I think I had... Can I... Oh. When I heard the sharp claw were coming to Cape Claw, I hid my precious gold deep below the sands. My memory's not what it used to be, though. And now I've forgotten where I buried them. With the help of your little friend, you should be able to find them. Return all four gold bars, and I will help you on your quest. All right. This is literally the exact same thing that you did in Banjo Kazooie with the fucking uh, hippo. <laughs> Oh god, you're not gonna make me give you all of them. Oh no, god, good. Ah! Okay, yeah, I was, I was like beginning to dread like, you know. You're not gonna take every single one of them individually from me. Oh, it's another cannon. Ooh, I get to shoot a cannon again. By the way, I gotta say, uh, I've said it before, but this game is fucking gorgeous. I gotta say, like, it, it is, it is he easily one of the best looking games for the GameCube, I gotta say. And it's in impressive considering that it's that's basically a launch title. That they did such a good job. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can't get get over there. 
Oops. <laughs> well, at least I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Is this another fire puzzle? Oh no, it's a block moving puzzle. Oh no. Alright. Oh my lord. You're shitting me. An unexpected box moving puzzle. Oh my god. Okay, I can't climb on top of it. I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 there. I, I, I was wondering, like, isn't there a way for, for me to, like, regain air? <sighs> okay, can I skip this? No, I can't. We'll, we'll go help that pterodactyl lady. That's the, She's the one who's wailing there. Yeah, so I, I've been listening to the Phenomena theme song. And I, I, I think it sounds, like, pretty fucking dope, so that's one of the reasons. You know... And that's, that's always that's always something that I find very very interesting is that horror movies usually have really really good soundtracks for some reason. Uh, I I did hear something. Well, I know something about the soundtrack of that uh, movie that it's that it's apparently mostly like licensed songs, which eh, I'm not super excited about. But like at least you know the original. Uh, you know the little that I've heard of the original uh, composed music for it. Sounds very good, so you know that that makes me a little bit excited. And it's a it's a movie by Dario Argento, uh, whom I'm gonna be per perfectly honest, I don't really know anything about. Uh, but I know he was a big deal in like the Italian uh, what what was what is it called? Ga Giallo, Giallo uh, horror scene. But that's about it. Like I I've never seen any of his movies, so I'm just curious. Oh, that was just literally the exit, and then it opened something on the beach. Okay, then. Where are we going? Do the plot, Tricky. Do the plot. Whoa! A cloud runner! Shoo shoo! Go away, cloud runner! Get away! H have you two met? He is an earthwalker. I am a cloud runner. Our tribes do not see eye to eye. His father has probably been saying bad things about me. Who locked you in there? General Scales. Who else? You see, I am the queen of the Cloudrunner tribe and also its gatekeeper. That guy needs to be taught a lesson. Where is he now? He used my powers to open a path to the Cloudrunner fortress. I must return there to help my tribe. I'm gonna need that spellstone. Looks like you've got yourself company, lady. Peppy, I'm returning to the Arwing. Can you make sure it's ready for takeoff? Wait a minute. There's no way I'm going up to her fortress. Okay, you can sit this one out. We'll head back to Thorntail Hollow, and you can wait there for me to return. I'll meet you at the fortress. Good luck. I forgot that you don't take Tricky with you to Cloud to the Cloud Runner Fortress. But which, which, by the way, I'm looking forward to. That was act that's actually one of my favorite uh, favorite locations in this game. All right, but that does it for this episode of uh, Star Fox Adventures. See you on the next part. Bye bye.